Um, when you when you start looking around at the uh, you know what the what the White Sox have going on here with the young talent, um, not only at the big league level, but you know when you start seeing these guys come up, uh, there's a window here to win. And uh, you know, just kind of talking with Rick over the last couple of weeks, uh, we've been able to uh, kind of iron some stuff out, and I was able to uh, get a deal done. And you know, you thank uh, Mr. Reinsdorf for the opportunity to play here uh, for the next couple of years, and the front office was able to do their thing. And you know, my my group, Headline Sports Group, was able to work with everybody, and we were able to get things done. And I'm super excited about being a part of something here, and uh, you know, bringing a championship to the South Side. Were you surprised it was able to get done in season with all that's going on, or were you pretty optimistic once the talk started? No, I think when uh, both of our uh, both sides were, you know, uh, open to conversation and things were, uh, you know, pretty pretty easy. Really, uh, once we started talking, uh, everybody was in the same ballpark and we were able to get stuff done. So, uh, you know, it was very uh, smooth uh, smooth deal all the way around. Me. Lance, you've talked to us in the past about, you know, feeling kind of at home on the south side and, and how, how big a role did that play in you kind of wanting to stay here for the next couple of years? Yeah, um, you know, when you start uh, getting older in this game, you realize that where you want to play and where you want to be and what uh, what kind of organization you want to be a part of uh, weighs a lot. And, then, you know, over the first half of the season, uh, just being able to see how everybody goes about the business here, uh, you know, the group that's here and the group that's going to be here for the next couple of years, it seemed like a pretty easy fit. Um, and then, you know, when you're starting to play in front of these fans and enjoy it, like I've been able to enjoy it, uh, it was a, it was a no doubter. So we were able to make a, make a deal and it was a, you know, best for both sides. I feel like. You, you've talked about, you know, the fans a couple of times, but you know, just that daily life for you inside the clubhouse, how comfortable do you feel being a part of, you know, these guys who, who have been together for a long time in some cases, how do you feel comfortable kind of being here this, this time for moving forward? Uh, it's been awesome. You know, you got like you got Tim and Jose and everybody that's been here for a couple of years uh, and been through some, some, you know, losing seasons, you've seen what they've been able to, you know, overcome and the players that they've been able to, you know, become, and the team that is starting to, you know, build around them, and just to be able to be another piece to fit into that, um, be a part of it, is awesome. Um, they've done a great job, and you know, we've got a lot of uh, excitement moving forward, and we're looking forward to it. I'm just uh, happy to be a part of it for sure. Cheryl, congratulations, Lance. Uh, Lance, what does it mean to you personally? Because you know, at this point in your career, to be able to do this, to be able to get an extension, it's, it has to be comforting to know that this is done. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. I think that, uh, you know, being able to talk with Rick in the front office, uh, this is where I wanted to be. They wanted to keep me here and to be wanted is an awesome feeling. So, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to uh, pitching here for, you know, the, the next few years and doing everything I can to, uh, you know, help this organization uh, achieve what they're set out to do. And that's win another championship. Uh, when I met Jerry in spring training this year, his first thing he said was, I'm looking to win another championship. And that's what I'm all about is trying to do everything I can to win. So I'm here to, to help try to do that. How much has Tony been a part of this uh, relationship you built with the White Sox? I, uh, I don't know. You know, you don't really know what the conversations that they have personally is, but I know that uh, since the day that I've got here in spring training, uh, everything's been, it's felt like a perfect fit. Uh, even the guys in the clubhouse, clubhouse staff and everybody, uh, you know, when I walked in today, everybody was really excited to have me around for the next couple of years. So that's always a good feeling. So, you know, you don't know personal conversations, but I'm sure that uh, that Tony had some definitely say into making sure that uh, there's a chance that I could stay around for a couple of years. Thank you. Bruce. Lance, how does how much does this uh, take the pressure off of uh, being concerned about usage toward the end of the year and the, uh, the idea that uh, you had a try to get a contract as well for, for you and your family, as well as help the White Sox uh, win a World Series? Uh, I don't think there would have been any pressure on uh, usage because uh, those things don't matter to me. Uh, if you do what you're supposed to do, help your team win and leave it all out there, everything else takes care of itself. Um, they know that's what I'm about. And I was able to, uh, you know, it is nice not to have to worry about uh, free agency, know where you're going to be, but also knowing that this is where you want to be and this is, a, you know, the group you want to be with to try to achieve something is a, a good feeling. And I'm really excited about uh, being here for the you know, foreseeable future. A couple of weeks ago, you said, uh, you know, just standing in the dugout, you know, the South side really resonates with you and uh, the way you think in this fan base. Uh, 
I'm sure they're pleased and I'm sure you're pleased about that part of it as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, you're starting to see the fans every night uh, here, and that's exciting, especially once we were able to get to full capacity. Uh, the fans are excited. They want to win. Uh, you know, I want to be a part of bringing a winner to them. And uh, every time I take them out, I'm doing everything I can to make sure that not only that they're entertained, but also we got a chance to win the game and they've got something to cheer for. Paul Sullivan. Uh, Lance, uh, you're having one of your better years uh, in your early 30s. Uh, do you feel like you can pitch into your maybe to late 30s, 40, or is that uh, too far down the road to think about? Uh, you know, you try to take it a year at a time, but when you look up, uh, you know, the, the mark of 38 to 40 is if you can play that long, that would be, that'd be awesome. So uh, I physically feel great. Um, I'm enjoying the game. I'm enjoying being around my teammates. Um, only thing that's not fun is being away from the family when we have to travel. Um, but they get to enjoy things too. So um, we'll kind of see how it goes. But right now, if you told me I could play till I'm 40, I would be thrilled. And, uh, you know, I physically feel like I'll be able to do that. So, but we'll take it one year at a time. James Sheegan. You, you mentioned kind of spring training, but uh, talking to Jerry, but when did you really get a feel for this organization that you wanted to be here, you know, long term? Uh, I think, you know, just day in and day out, uh, you see how they go about it, see what they've built. Um, you know, see how they've, uh, you know, kind of built from the ground up, uh, whether it's international, whether it's the draft, whether it's free agency or trades, um, they put together a winner here. And that's what I want to be a part of. And I want to help, you know, kind of push over the top and, and get a championship. So that was the main thing. And then they've made me feel like a, like I was right at home. And, you know, when you have that feeling and a chance to win, uh, that's what it's all about. That's why you play the game. And uh, everything else kind of takes care of itself, and it did in this case also. Anything else for Lance Lynn this afternoon? You know, having uh, been through free agency a couple times and knowing what that process was like, was that something that, you know, weighed in your decision to try to get something done now? Or uh, why was that not the, the path to take this time for you? I think the big thing was knowing where you want to be. And uh, there's no point in, in going into free agent if you know where you want to be. So we were able to uh, talk. We both wanted to, uh, you know, make a deal. So when that's the case, it, it's easy to, and it's a no-brainer. Anything else for Lance? Just uh, you, you mentioned your your representation group with uh, Headline Sports. What kind of role do they play in, in clarifying, like you know, what you wanted and and you know that and making this happen? Uh, they may, they knew exactly where I stood, and uh, I uh, you know I made it clear to the you know the front office and Rick here that this is where I wanted to be. And uh, everybody on uh, both sides, you know, had really great conversations and it was awesome and it moved really quick and was, you know, really no hassle at all. So, uh, you know, I, I appreciate both sides for, for doing their job and making sure that, you know, I was where I want to be and, uh, you know, they wanted me to be here too. So it was awesome. Last call. Anything else for Lance? All right. Thank you, Lance. Thanks, guys. Thank you.